Paula. She asks, is it possible for side effects from medication to present as FND? And I would kind of just ask, um, we had a couple people that had, and I don't know if they're misdiagnosed or if their symptoms were a result from medication. So yep. we see medication kind of playing a part in all of this. Yeah, well, it, so medication, you know, for all of it, it can be useful, it does undoubtedly can cause side effects and um, particularly strong painkillers, I would say, opiates. We discussed those last time. Um, FND should only be diagnosed when there's positive evidence of the disorder. So when you've got you know, a positive hoover sign in a weak leg or a positive entrainment test, etc., for a tremor. So it's not a diagnosis you should make just because someone's got a neurological symptom, they're feeling unwell. Um, that, that's not good medicine. It's not good neurology. Uh, I've certainly do meet patients where a medication gives them side effects, perhaps makes them feel unwell, and then that triggers FND. Um, so there's a sort of, in, there can be an indirect relationship. I wouldn't say, and, and some medications do make you feel very spaced out, and the uh, medical word for that is dissociated. So, um, and many, some aspects of FND are about feeling dissociated or disconnected from a body part which doesn't feel like it belongs to you so you can see how it might make it worse so the answer is yes they can trigger it i wouldn't say that they could that they would cause it as such i think they'd be a, they, they are a, they can be a factor in its development uh, that kind of puts us on our next question from paula that 